So when we are writing the functionality, we need to keep in mind two scenarios. The first one is that the user is for the very first time using our extension, in which case the total is going to be zero. So when the user enters an amount, we're going to add it up with zero and produce the new total. The second scenario is when the user is using our extension for the second or third or subsequent times. In such a case, there might be an existing total, for example, 100. And when the user enters an amount, we need to add that with the existing total to produce the new total. So let's write our JavaScript, keeping in mind both these scenarios. Now I'm going to Visual Studio Code and create a new file, pop up, pop up.js and we're going to be making use of jQuery to listen to the click event on the spend button. So we're going to start off with dollar and we're going to have function and we're going to listen to the click event on the spend button. So first we select the button. So hash spend amount dot click. So when we click, we need to do something. What is that? We're going to have a function and, <clears throat> excuse me. So we need to get the existing total, if it is there, from the Chrome storage. And for that, we make use of a Chrome API. So chrome.storage.sync.get. This is the method. And the first parameter it takes is the variable value and this Chrome storage for which we need to retrieve the value. So total is going to be a property and it expects a callback function as the second parameter. So all Chrome APIs are asynchronous in nature. So we are going to have callback functions. Now this function is going to have a budget object. This budget you can name it whatever you want, but I'm just naming this object as budget because it is relevant to our extension. So over here, we're going to first initialize our new total to zero. And then if this budget object, so budget dot total, so this total is existing, then we need to add that to the new total. So new total plus equals plus equals budget dot total and we also need to make this as an integer so parse int budget dot total right now we have handled both the scenarios if there was a total we have added it to new total otherwise our new total is going to remain zero so now for the user entered amount first we're going to store it in a variable so dollar we're going to select the input box amount dot val so whatever the user has entered we are storing it in amount and if the user entered something after all so if amount then we need to update a new total so new total plus equals parse int to have an integer amount so now we have our new total in place. So we can set or send this new total back to the Chrome storage. So another Chrome API, chrome.storage.sync, but this time we are setting it, so dot .set. And this expects an object. The first one is a key or the variable name in the Chrome storage. So we need to set a variable called total because that is what we are getting over here. And we're going to set it with the value new total. So once we have set the value, we need to update our UI. So dollar hash total. And then we are going to say dot text with new total. So this is going to update the new total on our pop-up HTML. And finally, we are going to clear out the input box. So hash amount dot val empty. All right, we have our pop-up JS in place. Let's quickly understand from top to bottom what we are doing. So we have our submit button on the pop-up HTML and the ID is spend amount. 
So when the user clicks on this, we first query this Chrome storage to check if total already exists. If it does exist, then we are adding it with new total. Otherwise, it's going to remain zero. Once we are done with that, we are going to add what the user has entered in the pop-up. So new total is going to be updated with this amount. And finally, we are going to set this total back in Chrome storage and update our UI. So now let's save this and we need to reload the extension because we did set the permissions for Chrome storage. So over here, I'm going to enter amount 100. It's going to update 400. I was using this for another extension and I might have set it, but anyway, let's do it again, 100. And it's going to 100, it's going to be 500. Let's add 500 and it's going to say 1000. But here's a catch. I'm going to close the pop-up and open it again. And it's going to say zero. So what we need to do now is any time we open the pop-up, we need to get this total value. So for that, we do the exact same thing. We're just going to say chrome.storage.sync.get. The first parameter again is going to be total. The second parameter is going to be the callback function. So function, this is going to take an object called budget and we're just going to update dollar the total dot text with budget dot total. So all we are doing is anytime the user enter, uh, opens the pop-up, we're just making sure this total is already displayed. So I'm going to save this and now when I open this, there you go. The total spent is 1000. I'm going to enter 100. It's going to add. I'm going to close this, open this again. And there you go, 1100. So working pretty, pretty good. I'll see you guys in the next video.